Hello everyone, this is last episode of this beautiful Thea Cook Little Spies one. FF, I hope you will love it. The time was 5 p.m. Just about time for Minji and Thea to go pick up Jungkook and his mom. Minji was putting her shoes on while Thea was upstairs looking for his. He looked around all sides of his bed next to the dresser even in closet where could they be just as he was about to give up he decided to look under the bed bingo he put his arm under the bed grabbed them but they were just out of reach so he arm curled under the bed. tight space he was about to grab them when he felt the familiar comfort he always felt when he was under a bed he laid his head down on the floor and closed his eyes allowing himself to relax just for a minute or two Theo you are almost ready Minji called from downstairs Theo opened his eyes and grabbed his sneakers before Theo crumbling out he slid his shoes on and quickly made his way out the door setting the lights on his way out there you are minji said as they have made his way down the stairs okay let's go pick up your kids she said while i smiled they hung nodded and following followed her out the door it wasn't until they were in the car did they hung realize he forget his study he look out and window of the passenger seat and to the bedroom window he suddenly felt alone with him, without him after all he always brought teddy with him everywhere especially on car rides when she got into the driver seat and looked over him did you forget something and she asked Theon peered his eyes away from the bedroom door and over to her. He suddenly felt the same for missing a teddy bear. He felt like he was too old to be caring for such thing. He shook his head and woke up. Okay, Minji said, starting up the car. The window drive the the whole drive over. Theon could only focus on the lack of added weight on his lap. when soft fuzzy fur in his hand as soon as they got there jungle came rushing out the door then unbuckled his seat belt and did the same the two boys ran up to each other and wrapped each other in a tight embrace minji clenched as she climbed out of her car jungle's mom was out of the house and waved to minji minji smiled and waved back She walked up to her and shook her hand. Hi, it's so nice to meet you, Minji beamed. You too, I'm John. I have already heard so much about you from Jungkook, Mrs. John said. Oh, good, th- good thing. I'm hoping. Minji laughed. Yes, Mrs. Jian laughed as well. All good things. They look over to the boys who were still hugging each other. They got along so nicely. Minji whispered, "I couldn't be happier for Jungkook. He talk about him all the time." Mrs. Jian whispered back, "Mom, Jungkook shout while blushing. Whoops!" Mrs. Jian giggled. Kids got the ear of rabbit. Not all the time. Jungkook muttered. He crossed his arm and looked down to hide his blush. And let out a giggle and put a hand on his mouth to hide as well. He felt closer than someone actually cared for him this much. Okay, who is hungry? Minji said, raising her hand. Everyone shot their hands up and here Jungkook put up two hands. Good. Let's get back to my place, okay, so that I can cook. Yes, Jungkook 
cheered. They all went to the car and sat by Jungkook in the back while Mrs. Yeon sat in passenger seat. As they drove off, Mrs. Yeon looked at Jungkook in the mirror, rear mirror. Jungkook showed them what you have been teaching yourself. She said with a smile, Oh, right. Jungkook said excited. He looked over at Thaehyung and started to do something with his hands. It took Thaehyung a second to process what he was doing, but when he did, a huge smile appeared on his face. Jungkook was doing sign language. He said, How are you? Thaehyung couldn't help but tear up and hug him. Nobody other than his mother had bothered to learn line sign language for him now it will be easier to communicate jungkook said giggling as he hugged back as dinner minji was in kitchen and thaekook were in the living room with mrs jian watching tv thaehyung thought about his theory and how he went without him on the car ride he started to miss his teddy again teddy teddy was probably missing him too thanks as left the screen and went to go to the staircase behind him i will be right back boys mrs jian said bringing thanks attention back she walked over to the kitchen leaving the two boys alone in the living room you okay jungkook whispered over him thank look down and his lips almost pouting he was starting to in involuntarily regress he hadn't regressed since he had a nightmare and caused him to have an accident in his sleep and even then he had only regressed to twice so he didn't realize it at first when he started to regress again Now in the middle mid seat of a 3 year old Thaehyun couldn't hold back his tears he hid his face in his hands and started to cry softly Thaehyun Jungkook said in a soft tone what's wrong when Thaehyun didn't respond Jungkook pulled him into his arms Thaehyun began to sob helplessly Teddy Thaehyun whispered between his tears he said it so quietly that jungkook almost didn't hear your teddy bear jungkook asked him he remembered how much comfort his teddy seems to bring them back at that tree house where it is in your room he asked them is needed and nodded okay i will be right back Thaehyung was reluctant to let go but pulled himself back. Jungkook went to the kitchen to find Minji and Mrs. Jian sitting at the counter taking talking and laughing. "Hey, Mrs. Park," Jungkook asked. "Oh, hey, hi Jungkook," Minji said looking over at him. "Need something?" "Yeah, um where is Thaehyung's room?" he asked hoping it wasn't too weird for him to ask i need to get something for him up the stairs last door at the end of the hall minji replied okay thanks jungkook said walking over to the stairs he quickly came up and the steps and speed walk down the hall once he got the last door he opened it up and peeked inside to double check he flickered flipped the light switch and saw the teddy bear sitting on the bed a smile appeared on his blonde face he walked over to the bed and picked up the small bear then quickly made his way back to the stairs here jungkook said holding the bear out then looked up and gasped he took the teddy bear and hugged it tight He brushed his face in the in its fur, nuzzling it. Jungkook smiled and had a seat next to him. Thaehyung leaned over and laid his head down on Jungkook's shoulder. Jungkook wrapped an arm around him, holding him closer. Thaehyung smiled and hummed softly to himself. He closed his eyes and couldn't help but pop his thumb in his mouth. 
as he grew drowsy boys let's go for another round of pizza minji shouted from the kitchen and theo stood awake when his eyes flashed open he saw that he was in jungkook's arm he quickly realized that jungkook's thumb was in his mouth then gasped and pulled it away wiping it off on his hoodie his cheeks burned with embarrassment hey jungkook whispered to him it's if it make you feel any better then look up to him you don't have to anything to worry about him i don't judge i don't judge now come on i'm to eat more i want to eat more then give him a small smile and they got up from the couch it has been 3 days thanks but they was today two days ago and he went to his mom's grave missing her and crying his heart out then he went to his school and jungkook gifted thaehyung a passy as the is a little and jungkook thought thaehyung might love it which thaehyung did but something bothers thaehyung a lot that is min jimin jimin is also their schoolmate and now jungkook and jimin are too close and this makes thaehyung feel sad back to the story so thaehyung minji said while they all sat on the dining table now that you are turn 18 i think we should start thinking about your future thaehyung look up at her a bit nervous hundreds of thoughts rushed through his mind was he not going to be allowed to live here anymore did he have to be all on his own now where would he go and where would he work could he be even get could he even get a job being a mute minji vakke to resource him reassure him though don't stress son she said placing a hand on his arm there is absolute no rush as your foster mother i want i just want to make sure you are on the right path you have plenty of time to figure it out kids are allowed to stay with their foster parents until they are 21 but you are welcome to stay longer if you need to okay then let out a sigh and relief nodded good see said smiling now there is one more thing i needed to talk to you about but in private she looked over to jungkook who was munching a string of cheese melting on of his pizza jungkook dear would you mind stepping in living room for a few minutes so he said with a warm full mouth he took his plate with him munching on the cheeks cheese as he walked thank you minji said clenching she then turned her attention over to thaehyung and said a little the mood became serious all the sudden thaehyung she started next week we are going to have to go to the trail thaehyung has started to pick up pace your father wouldn't be in the room it will just be me you judge and few other people walking from cps they are going to ask you a few questions i understand that some of them may be difficult for you to answer but i will be there to support you even every step of the way okay thank you let out a sicky sigh but not it he would have to get his this over sunday he may have run away and first time but now that he knew minji and jungkook always had his back he had a little more comfortable in, in confidence in himself late that night young and jungkook headed up stairs to hang out for a while oh jungkook said when he stepped inside the bedroom he had noticed the new cover on the bed new blanket then shook his head and 
पंट ओवर टू द क्लोजेट ओ वेल इट लुक्स है सॉफ्ट जंक वेंट ओवर टू द बेड एंड फ्रोपेड डाउन वो इट्स इट इज है सॉफ्ट जंक सेड नजलिंग द ब्लैंकेट ही रोल्ड ओवर वेल हेमिंग टू हिम सेल्फ एज ही इट ही इफ ही वॉज इन हेवन थैंग ब्रस्ट इन टू अ फीस ऑफ विकलिंग हिज सच अ गुफी थैंग थाट टू हिम सेल्फ ही वॉक ओवर एंड हैड ए सीट एट द एज ऑफ द बेड जंग कंटिन्यू टू रोल ओवर एंटिल ही फेल्ड समथिंग हार्ड अंडर हिज हेड ही सेट अप एंड पिकेट अंडर and he smiled and picked up thanks passy that chunka gift to him thank blessed and smiled softly have you used it it chunka cast thank looked away blessing before nodding chunka ka smile did it help with your recreation i mean Thang nodded again. Good. Jungkook said, putting the passy back under the pillow. Thang looked at Jungkook, feeling a little small. He felt as though Jungkook could take the role of caregiver. He shook his head, trying to blush, brush away the thought he wouldn't want to burden Jungkook with that. He couldn't help but feel like he would annoy Jungkook and maybe even push him away if that ever. did happen jungkook may have accepted him as a little but that didn't mean he should have to be responsible for him it would be nice to have a caregiver though what are you thinking about jungkook said pulling them out of his thoughts them blinked and looked around the room looking for an excuse his eyes landed on the elise in wonderland book which sat on his net stand jungle clenched yeah that is a pretty book good book liked reading it to you to thank said blessing a little thank giggled as little small he hearing that Maybe Jungkook could read him stories more often. He smiled to himself, just thinking about it, and swung his legs, which hung over the bed. It would almost be like when his mother would read to him. Hey, Jungkook said, bringing Thang's attention over to him. His legs were bouncing, and he was looking down at his hands. He looked like he was hesitating to say something. He opened his mouth only to close it after a few moments. He let out a sigh. I should get going before it gets too late. I have worked tomorrow morning. He finally said, "Thank you." Tell Jungkook had something else in his mind though. But before he could try to ask, Jungkook stood up, stood up and started heading towards the door. Thang quickly followed after him, a little worried. Once they got at the door, Jungkook stopped it in his track. He stood there for a few moments as thought he was con- contemplating something, something heavy. He suddenly turned around to face Thang. Their bodies being. Only half an inch apart. Just then, Jungkook did something that would stop time. Just for a moment, he lifted Thang's chin up, just enough so that their lips almost brushed together. He glanced up, asking Thang for permission. He, with his eyes, Thang managed to give a small nod. He couldn't believe that was happening. Then Jungkook kissed him, and then they really couldn't believe it was happening. It only t- lasted half a second, and before them could even proceed, Jungkook flew down the stairs and announced to Minji that he was ready to go to home. Them put his fingers over his up to his lips. Did Jungkook really just? 
He felt his cheeks heat up and his heart began to pick up pace. At first, he didn't know what to make of of any of it. Did this mean Jungkook liked him? Did he like Jungkook back? For a while, he thought all the warm fuzzy feeling he had just meant that Jungkook was a really good friend that made him happy but as soon as their lips were just mile meters apart he knew he was it was something more he couldn't help but giggle to himself out of pure joy jungkook liked him he was in love with jungkook he heard the car start and rushed over to the window he saw jungkook sitting in the back seat with his head up against the window if young had a puppy tail it would be wiggling rapidly he couldn't wait to see him again i can't believe i did that jungkook mentally screamed he wasn't sure if he should be excited or scared what if it was a mistake what if young didn't actually want me to do that what if he did It has been a week since Taehyung and Jungkook had kissed and they were still going head strong with their relationship. They kept it a secret out of fear of judgment though. In school, they would do things like holding hands under the desk in lab class kiss when no one was looking and sit as close as possible at lunch without looking suspicious. Jimin would sit with them as always but he was always so distracted with his own talking that he didn't notice. Taehyung's heart would flutter every time he was close to Jungkook. He really loved this boy. He felt silly for not realizing it sooner. It all made sense though he knew now why his ear would heat up when they hugged why he thought about him so much why he why and why they were the time where he wished he was lying down beside him in the bed lonely nights time escape next few months their summer came to end it was september now and there was a few big changes for one jungkook was moving into his own apartment and them would be sharing his new job starting his new job in a few days he never thought he would be able to handle a job as soon but it he was determined to make this work he was certain he had found his calling working with animals it all started when he and jungkook were out on for their usual bike trips they had taken a few route a new route this one lead to a rather pretty big bridge they parked their bike and stood at the lake to take in the view and the lake was stretched out for miles on both sides that's we think spotted something rustling in the tall grass just next to the water his eyes sparked and he leaned over to get a closer look he gasped when he heard a puppy yelp jungkook he said tapping on bulander's shoulder before they back to in the car thanks i help wanted to fly him he thought about how many other animals might have needed help he wouldn't mind working with animals time escape chunk put his hand in his jeans pocket as he climbed up the stairs to his new apartment just to make sure the box was still there it was just like the over 15 time 50 times he checked it 
this was probably going to be biggest trip yet he couldn't wait to get to the but he had to wait for the right time the the jungkook sang as he opened the front door to the apartment i'm home he slipped his shoes off and removed his name tag he grabbed and tiredness out of his eyes and stretched it has been another entertaining but long day at the coffee shop while taehyung worked from 5 to 6 jungkook worked from 9 to 5 so there was a few hours that taehyung would be home alone that was partly the reason why jungkook had decided to make a play room for taehyung that way he could keep himself occupied and regress in safe environment without getting into too much trouble speaking of which where was his little monsters he heard he heard a scurrying coming out of the bedroom and down the hall it was only of the puppies though they came running to janko and jump on trying to get him face links janko giggled and pet them the bam i missed you too boys he said now where is them he looked down to hall and saw the lights on on the playroom bingo he walked down the hall with the puppies following him he opened the door and poked his head inside he saw toys scattered all over the floor books were stretched in a pillow of the blue tent house and a few onesies were out if them was deciding which one to wear he heard movement coming from his left he looked over and saw them staring in his sleep he was wearing his tiger pajama onesie and cuddling up to a cookie stuffy his hand was resting on his half empty bottle of warm milk jungkook smiled and walked over to the crib he leaned over and stroked him's hair the his nosing boy awoke and looked up he gave with a bright smile and set up making grabby hands the bottle clenched the blonde clenched and hugged his little cube thehang is quiet and nuzzled to into him did you miss me jungkook said rubbing the small back once back thehang replied with a nod when he pulled away jungkook looked around the room again looks like someone had fun he said they sent him a soft giggle from thehang jungkook looked back over to him and put his arm out come on let's get you up see and we will clean up in there thehang stood and warm his wrapped his arm around jungkook jungkook lifted him up with a small hop thehang had his legs around the blonde's waist he kicked his feet with a smile being carried by jungkook was one of the favorite thing he was even better than the milk and cheese oh can we have milk and cheese tara thank you ask looking into the chocolate brown eyes Actually, Jungkook started. I was thinking about taking you out to the Mephil house for dinner. Then gasped in excitement. The Mephil house was only the best place ever to get food, especially if it was Mephil's. Really, come, um, Jungkook said with a nod. But first, we got to clean up in here and get you. Um, na. No. You can stay in your pajamas," he said with a shrug. Then threw his arm into her. "Yeah, best day ever," 
Jack put him down and they started to tidy up the place. Then put all his toys away. Jack gathered all the books and placed them back on the shelf. Then he put all the bunches away. Afterward, they straightened up the stuffers and blankets in the crib. Jungkook took the bottle and went to the kitchen to place it in fridge. After making sure the pups were fed and watered, he went to the bedroom to change out of his work suit. So, meanwhile, Thayong picked his bag with things he will need it. a coloring book, a study, a fridge. Cube to keep his hand busy, phone, wallet, and spare keys. Once everything was packed, and he went to the bedroom to see how close Jungkook was to being ready, he waited for by the door eagerly while Jungkook was digging through his closet for a shift shirt. He watched it as the plant. Looking at his shirt, fuzzing to himself about finding the right one. The this was out of Jungkook. Usually he just threw on whatever with little who cares. Finally, Jungkook settled on blue, black bottom-up, and white skinny jeans. After picking in mirror to fix his hair, he picked up the work. Hands and face away from him, he so he couldn't see what he was facing out after taking out the small present safely in his jeans. He faced him with a big, bright smile and said, All right, let's go. He took them by the hand. He was walking out of the bedroom. Them followed, questioning why Jungkook was so dressed up if they were just going to the muffle house and what was he hiding in his pocket. If you were to look up happy birthday in the direction things face would be there with a dab of serum of on his nose as a whipped cream mustache he giggled in the bench seat humming a happy tune while chowing away meanwhile Jungkook was trying to hold back his laughter what am i going to do with you he said picking up napkin he wiped his face clean you are going to love me Thang Sen throwing his arm up in the air, he then resumed to be to his muffles, taking a big bite. Yes, I am, Jungkook replied, forever and ever. He reached down and pulled the small box out of his pocket. And I wanna give you something to promise you that. Then look up at him with a full mouth and tattled his head with the hum. He looked down at Jungkook's hand and swelled before looking back up at him. I think it's still a little early to be thinking about marriage, Jungkook started, but until that day, he opened the box, relieving two rings inside. I wanna give you my promise then put a hand on his mouth as he stared down at the promise ring. Jungkook, he said breathing into breaking into a smile. He watched the blonde take one ring out and put it in his hand, allowing Jungkook to slip the ring on his finger. They looked and took the other ring and did the same for Jungkook, a big bright smile was plastered on their, both their faces, they couldn't help but giggle. Jungkook always knew how to make him happy and now he got to be happy with him forever. The end.
वन दिस इज इंड ऑफ दिस ब्यूटिफुल थैंक यू लिटिल स्पेस इफ हैव आई हैव यू बी लव इट एंड इफ यू हैव एनी रिक्वेस्ट आर सजेशन टेल मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन आई सी यू विद अनादा थैंक यू लव स्टोरीज मैट बी गन बी अ कॉमेडी थैंक यू करेंज मैरिज आई होप यू विल एंजॉय इट विद सम फैमिली ड्रामा एंड ऑल सो यह आई विल रिलीज इट विद Saturday, 9:30 p.m. And whatever you feel about the story, tell me in the comment section. See you again. Bye, bye. Take care of yourself.